Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be transforming myself into Ariana Grande. I love Ariana Grande. I've loved her since her victorious days when she played Kat. Kat was so cute and she was so sweet and girly and I really, really loved her red velvet hair. I really hope that one day she brings that back um, because I totally love that. Crazy how quickly and immensely she blew up um, after Victoria since she started her music. I love her first album, um, Yours Truly. I know like every single song um, by heart on that album. I've listened to it countless times. I loved her Dangerous Woman album. Okay, this hair, hello. And I just love her makeup all the time. It's always full glam and sexy. I love her music videos. Her music videos are such a vibe. Oh my God, like, ugh favorite music video is her Into You video with Don Benjamin. He is so hot. But that video, uh, every time I watch it, it just makes me want to have a secret summer romance. And it's currently summer and that would be, that would be very um, welcomed into my life. But unfortunately, there's no possible way of that happening because I don't talk to people. She looked so hot in that video. Oh my God. I would definitely say my favorite hair of her is her blonde hair and her bangs. That looks so good on her. I love those two hairstyles the most. I'm gonna be recreating her makeup from her Let Me Love You video. She looked so freaking sexy in that video. Oh my God. One of her most full glam looks and she was full glam in that video. So I'm gonna be recreating that. And afterwards I'm gonna shirt to my hair and do a half pony. Um, I can't get hair as big as hers because she wears a ton of extensions. Oh yeah, and oh my gosh, her look from No Tears Left to Cry, that was amazing. Like that shocked the whole world. Um, but I don't wanna recreate that look because there's so many recreations of that on YouTube. And I find that's difficult to recreate and stuff. Like I do not have products to recreate that for sure. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I didn't do them off camera because I want to really try to um, recreate her face. So Ariana Grande's eyebrows are really short and straight. My eyebrows are longer and they have a slight arch. So I'm gonna straighten my eyebrows out at the bottom. Just concealed around my eyebrows and my eyelids. So now I'm just gonna apply some eyebrow gel. I never show this in my videos, but I always set my eyebrows with eyebrow gel because then my eyebrows will just fall really flat. I'm just using a really old eyebrow gel from H&M, so I don't know if they even sell it anymore. I'm gonna set my eyelids neutral off-white color. Start off for my first transition shade. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetic Studio Pro Ultimate Neutrals palette. And I'm gonna take this taupe color. I watched a new movie released on Netflix today called Set It Up with Zoe Deutsch and Lucy Liu. I love Lucy Liu, she's so beautiful, and Zoe Deutsch as well. And it was such a cute movie. Like, I find it's really realistic to how young adults' um, lives are today, and it was just so adorable. It was predictable but I still really, really liked it. Zoe Deutsch's character, she's 25 and she's an assistant for a sports reporter. And she said that she's never had a boyfriend before. And that scared the shit out of me because it's now becoming more common to enter your 20s and having no prior relationship experience in your teenage years. And I don't want that for me. Like. I keep telling my friends that because I'm turning 19 in two months and I know that's still young and I've never had a boyfriend before. I've never even come close. And I just I just don't want that for myself. Like I know it's okay for some people, but like I just feel like I'm gonna really freak out and really question myself. Next, I'm just gonna go in with the deeper taupe right next to it. She always usually goes for neutral warm looks with like a shimmery gold all over the lid and is pretty simple when it comes to eyeshadow. I'm just gonna apply that same shade on my lower lash line. 
Okay, so that's it for my crease. As I said, her eyes are super simple. Now I'm gonna mix these two shades. I'm gonna take, oh gosh, it's so funny. I'm gonna take this shade for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. I started talking and it wasn't recording. Um, so I'm gonna do liner now. I'm taking the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. So when I started wearing winged liner again, after like a year, I did mine like Ariana Grande's where it was more curved out. But um, after watching a lot of YouTube and stuff, now I like to do my liner straight because um, I find that looks better. But Ari always likes to have a super curved out wing. Like, did you see her makeup at the Met Gala? Her wing was like, whee! it was like the Nike symbol. And her liner in the video is super thick at the outer corner and then very thin um, going inwards. that oh fuck unfortunately i wasn't able to f fix it i just kind of covered it with shimmery eyeshadow but it's gonna look okay that is the last time i do wing liner on camera oh my god <laughs> So I've just lined my entire waterline with black eyeliner. I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Zero. And it was definitely difficult for me to do this liner. I'm usually pretty good at liner. I've got a lot better. But I'm not used to doing a thick liner like this. So I had a bit of trouble. But it turned out okay. So definitely not perfect. But I'm going to use the Get Big Lashes mascara from essence and then apply some outer corner lashes i cut the queen bee lashes from coco lashes and i'm going to use the inner part i'm going to prime my face with the milk blur stick oh my gosh i totally forgot to mention but not yesterday two days ago i got new piercings i got two piercings um on my cartilage i really really wanted to get new piercings for a while now so i'm so happy i got them but they really hurt right now and i can't sleep on this side which sucks because i'm always turning on both of my sides um until i fall asleep so it's really hard for me to just be lying down on one side and trying to fall asleep i'm definitely gonna get more piercings later on this summer um i really want to get the trigus i just don't know if i should get it on this ear the trigus is through here i don't know if i should get it on this ear or this ear but I'm probably going to get it on this ear because like I don't want to just have my bar. I want to have other piercings to go along with it. Um, and I don't know if I'd get double low because uh, I can't sleep with earrings on my lobes because they really irritate me. So I don't know. We'll see. Now for foundation, I'm going to use my darkest foundation, which is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in Warm Beige. I really, really want to get new foundations and concealers. So let me know your favorites down below. So Ari always has full coverage. She probably looks really different without makeup and I don't know why she doesn't go out without makeup because I'm sure she's still beautiful. Yeah, this is super dark. I want to cream contour today as well um but for concealer i'm gonna mix my becca pop concealer in yellow and my nyx pop, no my becca concealer in banana and my nyx concealer in yellow if you want to see an in-depth video of how to cream contour and highlight um i have that up on my channel oh yeah and I forgot to mention, but Ariana Grande's new fiance, Pete Davidson, was in um, 
set it up, the movie with Zoe Deutsch that I mentioned before. And he's cute. I find he's so cute. I think he's definitely um, the cutest out of all the boyfriends she's had. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. To contour, I'm going to take my Bahama Mama Bronzer. Oh, there's just powder everywhere. My Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Bomb. This is the most pigmented bronzer slash contour product I've ever used. Now for some warmth, I'm going to take my Beach Bronzer from Urban Decay and just apply a little bit of this across my cheeks because this is a super warm color. Ooh, I really, really want to try this new blush I got from NYX. It's one of their ombre blushes. I always wanted to try one. This is in 01. Feel the heat. And I'm feeling it, baby. Like, damn. Oh. Oh. She's pigmented, sis. Okay, I'm just going to take a powder brush and blend that out because... Damn! Did not expect that. Okay, it's super duper pink and I don't want that. So I'm going to go over with this terracotta shade from my e.l.f. palette. And just like go over my cheeks because... Oh my gosh, it's too pink. Okay, no, I need to use a different brush. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, that blush was so pigmented. Like, ugh, I was not ready. Okay, it's more die down in person. Um, now for highlight, I'm gonna take my Hourglass Highlighter, the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder, Euphoric Strobe Light. This is stunning on the skin like this just makes your skin look so healthy and now for some more shimmer i'm going to take my becca opal highlighter for lips ariana grande always overdraws her lips but because her lips are flat it's very easy for her to do it in a natural way um and she's super great at it i wonder if she does her own lipstick um but since i already have full lips i'm not gonna overdraw them too much so i'm gonna go in with the nyx lip liner and natural i got this because so many youtubers use this oh my gosh this color is so beautiful i for sure do not have a color like this in my collection oh my gosh yes I'm going to go over it though with a little bit of Lolita from Kat Von D. So I've just done my hair and I hate when my roots grow up, but I love how it looks when I tie my hair and my roots are grown out. Really, really like that. It's all dark brown in the front. This was how her hair was in the beginning of the music video in certain parts and um, on the thumbnail as well. I love this transformation so much i definitely want to do my makeup like this more often and do half ponies more often because i just feel so cute and sexy and i'm feeling myself let me know if you'd like me to transform into any other celebrities i know i have a lot of other inspired looks but i want to start doing more transformations and actually doing hair and makeup to make myself look more like the celebrity so let me know what you'd like to see give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine follow my social media links down below if you'd like and i will talk to you soon bye